Okay, today this young gentleman needs his ears taped. And what I like to do with all of my puppies is not only keep them taped over, but I pull them up on their head as well, and that helps give them a beautiful set that will last a lifetime. And this puppy has a nice ear set, and he has a nice break to his ears, but they've been down to three days, and I've just let them relax a little bit, and now it's ready. It's time for them to go back up. So the first thing I want to do is to see if there's any loose hair, and since his ears have been taped before, there's going to be a little bit of tape residue, so I will trim as much of this away as possible because in a minute the tape is going to go across there and you don't want uh, the tape catching any of these fine little hairs because that could be very aggravating to the puppy. So I trim those off as much as possible and maybe even down in his ear a little bit. The next step is to get some little cotton balls or even a paper towel, whatever. And I just use rubbing alcohol to clean the ear. And this is going to help remove any of the, the, the oil and uh, tape residue that was already on here as well as any, any just film, or they've been playing a lot out in the field. So, he needs his ears cleaned. And I do a really thorough job with this because the cleaner that little ear is, the easier it is going to be for the tape to adhere to it. Then I just flip it over and start on this side as well. And as you can see, it comes off very very easily. Uh, sometimes if the residue is stubborn, I'll get a little tiny comb and comb it out. But right now, both of his little ears are clean, and of course the alcohol is going to start um, evaporating pretty quickly. I may even take one more or use a towel or something to, to help this dry. I mean, it's, it's always good to let it air dry just a little bit more as well. So, he's being a very good boy today. Most of them are used to this by this time and don't really have too much to say about it. Now, the whole point is to lift these ears up and pull them up on top of their head. And you want something that's going to be strong enough that you don't have to constantly be doing this. Uh, he is down to one playmate right now, so things are not so bad. It's not like having five or six litter mates pulling on them all the time. But you can see what a difference that makes in expression right there. So they're feeling pretty dry now. What I'm using is just the, the Japanese tape that uh, some people call it Sheltie Ear Tape. And the first step is to pull off just a small piece. And I will start at the base of the ear and just kind of once again pretty much clean the ear leather with the tape. And it's amazing, even though you think the ears are pretty clean, it's amazing how much residue is actually still on the ear that would um, make it a little harder for the tape to stay put for a long time. So I've gone all the way down to the bottom, all the way to the top, and then I can throw this little piece away. Now, when I tape ears, I'm using just strictly the Japanese tape. And it's uh, a method I've been using for a long time. There are a few other methods similar to this. And for you know different reasons, people do different things. And I have um, had a lot of luck with using the tape and using this method. So the first step now is to pull off a length of tape. And it's going to vary depending on the size of your dog. So I have, looks like maybe two inches, two and a half for this particular puppy. I also try not to touch the tape a lot because that's going to pull some of the stickiness off. And I'm going to bend the ear back and keep it as straight as possible and place this in the lower part. I'm not down into any of 
the little ear structures, but just above them. As I was saying, the uh, tape is heat activated a little bit, so once I put it in, and again, I go way down to the base, the ear is flat, and I go straight up to the tip, and you can see, see the placement for that. And then I'm just going to spend a little bit of time pushing it back down, making sure it's flat, and that it's sticking in every every point. And say, I'm being such a good boy, I don't care about this. I don't care. Alright, so I'm just going to give it a second to do this and keep mashing. And of course, by now you can feel his, his little ears are warm. Now the next part, if you've got a, a small puppy, it's, it's very helpful to have a, someone holding them because this is the hardest part. What I'm going to do is start on this ear and, and I will go a little bit past where this tape is. So you have two surfaces. You're going to catch the skin and then the tape and then the skin over here again. And I'm going to bring it across and as I get to the middle, I twist it. And that twisting helps, uh, it, it's, it's less of an area for something else to catch and it also makes less of a sticky surface. And some people go all the way across with it and then do a, a piece behind it to cover up the adhesive part, but I've had a lot of luck just twisting it. So he's been so good, so we'll see if he's gonna continue to be uh, helpful for this. Okay, so the first thing again is I'm going to pull, pull off a little length and I'm also going to pull the ear up a little bit. Can, can, can you see that? And I'm going across and turn around. And that's what it's going to look like. And then I'm going to pull the hair away from it with my finger and you see the twist and it's just one twist around. And then I will continue, and you want to go to the base. You want the ears both pulled up the same distance. Good boy. And this tape does tear easily. So now you've got the piece that's going to go across that's going to, the purpose is to pull the ears back up on top of the head. And again, I'm going to continue to push down a little bit on this a minute. And then you can use fingernails or some if you've got little scissors to um, loosen any of the hair that might be sticking to part of the tape surface. But that's easy. It's just, it's just one move. Now, if you want it to just be temporary, you can do it like that, but I don't ever do that. I have, um, if you're going to spend this much time, I like to reinforce it so they stay up for a while. So what I will do is go back with another piece a couple of inches long. And now this goes over the cross brace. And it goes right up on top of the first piece that went down and it follows that. And again, I'm gonna press it to keep it in place. And I will come back with another one. And what I try to do with that one is catch the corners. So the corners that would be the first thing to start slipping and pulling away are now um, basically sandwiched under, under the tape. And we do the same thing for this ear. Again, pull it back and check to make sure there's no hair. And you wanna be sure you catch it across the bottom. And this really does do a good job in anchoring it for a longer period of time. And then I'll come back here and again try to catch any of the edges on that. So now, I'm so handsome. Now his little ears are up on top of his head and I'll give that a second. And then the final step will be taping them over. For this step, for years, I simply did the roll of tape, like that. We've all done that. But in doing so, that slowly pulls away from the ear itself. 
it kind of just unrolls. But something that really helps it last a lot longer is to take that first one and lay it down in the, the unsticky part of another piece of tape and then fold it back over it. And you've made a little pillow or a little square. And it seems like the more you do something, the more you find different little, <laughs> little changes you want to make. Um, now, instead of just laying it straight across, I've started going up in the very corner. And again, it's catching two surfaces. It's catching the, the skin and the coat. And then where the tip is, you want to let this just break over where those ears are breaking and the point of the ear is headed directly down into their little ear canal. And again, I'm going to hold this down for just a second and let it get a little bit stronger. I'm almost through. Almost through. Almost. And once again, just make the little, the little loop. And you do have to remove the little strings from time to time. And lay it on the non-sticky side. And then turn both of the sides back. Come here. And then again, it's placed up in the top, top part of the ear. Can you see that? And it's got a nice flat surface to adhere to. And then that ear is folded over again, same amount as the other one. And I'll hold it down for a second, too. I think he has a friend out there that wants her ears taped. She can't stand to be alone for a few minutes. So, anyway, that's how I do my puppy ears at Southland, starting about... Oh, maybe eight weeks old, sometimes 10. Sometimes it's nice to just watch to see what the ears are going to do. But I do, a, a proper ear set is so important to correct and beautiful expression. So these puppies from, from here on out, it becomes an individual thing for each one to see how their ears are going to, to, to set and how it's going to frame their little face. And uh, then we start determining later when it's time to quit bracing or when it's time to just keep taping them over for a while. And eventually, we even stop that. But it's all an individual thing. But I hope this helped. I hope this makes ear taping easier for you. And uh, it's certainly not too traumatic for the dogs, as you can see. He's kind of enjoyed the attention, I think. Thanks.